My name is Alberto Breda. I am uh, the chair of the Kidney Transplantation Guidelines. So uh, in the guidelines, uh, there's really nothing new so far because uh, the update for, for the kidney transplantation guidelines will come next year. So, um, so far we're still relying on what we had a couple of years ago. Um, although I have to say that we're uh, strongly working on uh, some new evidence that is coming out uh, on robotic kidney transplantation, which is something that uh, is truly new. Uh, we've been investigating this in the past five or six years, uh, yet uh, there is not much evidence, robust evidence. So hopefully next year we'll be able to update a little bit more our guidelines on this matter. Um, and also we are uh, updating our guidelines on uh, uh, the, uh, uh, um, let's say, on, on the possibility of uh, prostate cancer transmission from the donor to the recipient. Um, not a lot of evidence there, in particular in kidney transplantation, and that's why we're trying to update this to any solid organ uh, transplantation. We have a tremendous panel working right now of associates, particularly our associates are uh, very much involved uh, in uh, uh, several systematic reviews. Uh, a few of them, they already came out last year, but now there's still one pending, uh, which is a systematic review on the management of uh, kidney stones in the recipient, uh, both in the uh, native kidneys and in the kidney transplant. You know, kidney transplantation is a very unique panel because kidney transplantation uh, usually is uh, managed by a nephrologist, uh, general surgeon and vascular surgeon. The fact that us as urologists, uh, we have the possibility to have our guidelines uh, within the EAU renders this panel very unique, so I'm very excited for the next future.